Thanks everyone for coming back to another video on the final days. Today is April 11, 2020. Today we'll be taking a close look into the current upswing in the number of meteorites flying close overhead with a couple hits. We will also see a celestial object that resembles brain coral and other sky anomalies that mainstream news is prohibited from discussing. This channel shows the viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible. You will also learn how to stay safe in these uncertain times. The video you are now watching came from the southeast facing FAA weather camera located in Cold Bay, Alaska. Now we know this cannot be a lens flare for several reasons. One, it goes behind the clouds in a couple frames. Two, it's heavily textured, brain coral-like surface makes its rotation obvious. A lens flare of the sun is a camera-produced reflection of the sun. Therefore, a lens flare of the sun has to look slightly like the sun. A lens flare of the sun cannot rotate faster than the sun, which rotates only once every 27 Earth days. Here's a similar celestial object viewed from the southeast facing camera in Ketchikan, Alaska. It looks like a different object because it has a different pattern of craters on it. This one doesn't look like brain coral. It does go behind clouds in one frame, so we know it can't be a lens flare. Uh, lens flares can never go behind objects in a picture. Also, this one has a fast rotation like the one we just saw a minute ago. The southeast facing camera at Level Island, Alaska captured a huge celestial orb traveling in the same direction as the sun. It's very far away and also faded by the atmospheric chemicals so that it's nearly impossible to see even with contrast we are able to see it moving from left to right in these frames in the same direction as the sun but it's really too faint to see any surface details or rotation thus we cannot prove that it's not a lens flare of the sun i don't think it's a lens flare but all i'm saying is that we cannot prove it's not a lens flare Here is Earth's current position in our solar system. The arrows at the top are pointing to the date. So as we go through the animation, you can tell exactly what date it is and how the solar system looks. This animation starts out on today's date. The very faint blue line with arrows is the path that a magnetic celestial anomaly is traveling. As you can see, it will swing around our sun and then head back out of our solar system. This magnetic anomaly, represented by the blue orb, is so powerful that it bends light, space, and time. Earth won't collide with this object, but we will be passing close enough in mid-May to experience a dramatic increase in earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the heating up of Earth's molten core. Isolated spots on the Earth will experience incredibly high temperatures that are not conducive to life. This magnetic object has halted the rotation of other planets in our solar system as they have passed by it, and Earth will fall prey to the same effect. This is one of two sources that will create violent roaring of waves, fulfilling a Bible prophecy that Jesus states in Luke 21:25, when he describes the roaring of the waves in the last days. These are all biblical judgments that are coming upon an earth full of sin and abominations. In a minute, we will review several recent meteorites that have either hit earth or exploded very close by. But first we will look at why there is an upswing in meteorites. If you look at the animation you'll see that shortly after we pass by the powerful magnetic anomaly, 
Earth will pass through an asteroid debris field. Since Earth is 75% ocean, most of these asteroids will fall into the oceans, once again fulfilling the prophecy of the roaring waves in the last days. We will be passing through the asteroid debris field sometime between June and August of this year. The asteroid debris field is another judgment upon this world. We are starting to see an increase in the number of meteorites hitting the Earth and exploding close by. Eight weeks ago, a meteorite struck India, taking out a factory and killing a number of people. And then last month on March 9th, a fireball exploded over Spain. Here's another article showing one over Wigan in the UK. The yellow circle marks the meteorite in the image. As you can see, it's pretty large. This one flew over Florida March 14th, but it didn't explode. In just a minute, we'll look at another one uh, more recently that did explode over Florida. Three weeks ago on March 20th, a meteorite exploded over Pittsburgh and was captured on a security video camera. And as you can see here, even though the heavy cloud cover is there, it's still very easy to see the really bright flashing caused by the meteorite that exploded over Pittsburgh. Two weeks ago on March 28th, this meteorite passed over several states and was reported by many people. It was seen from Pennsylvania, New York, and Massachusetts. Here's one that lit up the sky over Nepal. It almost looks in this image like it broke into several different pieces. And here's one from 12 days ago. On March 30th, an asteroid hit a town in Nigeria, destroying several buildings, killing people, and leaving a crater that looks to be about 150 feet in diameter. Ten days ago, this fireball exploded over Florida on April 1st. The color doesn't show up very well here, but hundreds of people reported this as being green. Another one lit up the sky over the Netherlands just a few days ago. This happened on April 6th. This daytime meteor fireball was reported by hundreds of people as it flew over Central Europe just a few days ago on April 7th. Mike from around the world said that we would see a trickle of these asteroids at first, and he said that they would just gradually continue to grow in frequency, and this will happen until most countries on Earth suffer significant damage from fires and poisonous gas caused by these falling asteroids. This too is another judgment. These judgments are God's wrath upon a wicked world. The good news is that the Bible states repeatedly that faithful followers are not appointed to God's wrath, his judgments. The New King James Version of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 reads, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is referring to God's wrath, judgments. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape all of God's wrath. The Bible states repeatedly that faithful believers are not appointed to God's wrath, his judgments. To be counted worthy, we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. Please read Psalm 91 every day for reassurance on how God protects his faithful remnant of believers from plagues, wrath, and judgments. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life 
and escape the coming judgments. Simply pause the screens if you need more time to read the text.